so guys welcome to our birds section this is where we rear our birds from on our farm we have different kinds of birds here these are now turkeys this is the turkey section and see here we have a number of turkeys within this cage then when we proceed here we're going to have this section this is where we rear our chickens from this is the chicken section so this section for our farm here up it is up we have two sections we have the down section and the up section this up section is generally for birds so you can see here we have we have some eggs here these are eggs for chickens they have been able to lay these eggs we have removed them we shall be putting them here in this then we shall be able to sell them we have here an egg this is an egg for for the quails this is for the quails so this section is for our chickens then here we have a section for our pigeons also this is up this is where we rear our pigeons from and you can see here we have a quite number of pigeons around then from the pigeon section we shall we have here a section for our quails this is the section for quails this is where we rear our quails from we shall be taking you through all these kinds of sections one by one and showing you how you can rear each specific individual birds that we have here on our farm how you can be able to, to take care of them and be able to rear them on a large scale so this section is for our quails here we have this is a local chicken we have here another section for, for this chicken this one we have just got it so we have isolated it from our chickens because when you just get a chicken from out or any bird from out don't just put it into your stock so you have to first separate it and monitor it whether it's not sick then after if it is okay then you can mix them you can mix it with your other birds so guys this is our turkey section this is where we rear our turkeys from as you can see the cage is spacious enough the turkeys have enough space to be able to move around because this is very important when it comes to the health of these turkeys this is our male turkey then the other two are our female turkeys this is where they take water from this is the water feeder then here we have the laying section for the turkeys that are laying this is where they lay from as you can see there are some eggs there are some eggs here so guys these these are our turkeys that we have on the farm we have a feeder here which is hanged up this is where we put the feed then we lower it down and the turkeys are able to to feed from here then also we have this section here we also use this to also feed the turkeys from here as you can see as you can see there is some feeds here within this section also this is one of our feeders the cage has to be strong it has to be able to protect your turkeys from harsh weather condition and some other predators that may want to prey on these turkeys we have a door here you can see this is the door it has a lock so it makes sure that our turkeys are well protected and you can see on the ground we have applied some mulches which keep this place dry and also helps in reducing the smell of the droppings of the turkeys so guys this is our turkey section i'm going to be taking you through the different kinds of sections that we have here on our farm this is one of the sections we have chicken we have pigeons we have rabbits we have guinea pigs we have quails so we have a quite a bit of sections of different kinds of animals and birds that we rear on this farm so now guys let's head to another section that we have here on the farm so guys this is our section for the quails so we have some number of quails here this is the section where we rear the quails from on our farm so as you can see we have been able to provide these 
these are our feeding containers so this is where we put the feeds so we have two in this cage we have this and we have also this one then for the water we have this this is the container where we put our water so they are able to bring water from from this side so the main thing is you have to make sure that your cage is spacious enough to give these quills humble space to be able to move around then also you should make sure that your cages have holes that are large enough as you can see these quills are feeding if those holes are not big enough the quills will not be able to pick that feed that you have dropped in there so you make sure that these containers have holes that are big enough for them for the quails to be able to pick the feeds then you can see on the floor down we have been able to use a wire mesh this wire mesh will help you to self clean this cage in that the droppings of these quails will just drop down then you can be able to collect it and use it as manure so using the wire mesh down is going to help you in cleaning the cage then also on the side we have been able to to put a wire mesh you can see on the side we also have a wire mesh on the side this allows in free flow of air in and out so this is also very important make sure that on your side you have used the wire mesh it will also protect your quails in that they will not be able to move out of this cage then also you can see down here we have this section this section down here this is going to collect our eggs when the quails lay our eggs as you can see down here we have some two eggs it means these eggs when they are laid they are going to just sail through and come and and they will come down here this is where they will be held from so this cage is built in a way that it is slanting to this side so you can see we have here some eggs for quails they have been able to lay and have been able to move from the cage this side so also this section is very important it will it helps us in collecting our eggs from our quails then also up as you can see up here also we have used the wire mesh in that also there is free flow of air coming in and out of the cage but also it is able to protect your quails from any predator that may that may want to enter into the cage so guys that is it this is our section for quails we shall be creating different kinds of videos on each of these individual sections and show you how you can be able to rear these different sections individually on a large scale so now guys i'm going to take you to the next section of our farm